Hello and welcome, Drew here. So today we are back with another uh, match. We're going to be playing our last match of Scape Shift. Let's just get straight into it and see how it goes. Okay, we have loaded our deck. I love this deck. This deck's super fun to play. Uh, I just finished it all on paper, so hopefully someone will join us soon and we can just get started. <clears throat> Okay, here is someone. Um, it looks like he has 15 sideboard cards. Great. He says hi. <laughs> okay. See what we roll. Roll an 11. We still suck at rolling. <clears throat> he rolls an 18. Yeah, of course he does. Okay, so here's our hand. Uh, probably gonna keep it. We'll go with keep. Okay. So he is on the play. There we go. <clears throat> so hopefully we can draw into search for tomorrow. That'd be perfect. Um, if not, that's all right. Okay. No hierarchy. So this could be infect. Could be zoo. Could be a lot of things. So we get another forest. Play that, and that's our turn. Okay. Hopefully this is not Infect, because Infect is hard to play against. Oh, okay. Hollowed Fountain. <clears throat> Tap three for this, if it will load. Okay. I think we're alright with that. Uh, we get a Remand. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think we're going to need to Remand next turn, so I think we're pretty good to just play a tri there And pass the turn. Seems good. So we basically will be able to Worldly Council or Remand next turn, or play another tri there and if we sacrifice this one, we can get a mountain and play a lightning bolt. So we have a lot of options. So we get to another noble hierarch. Tapping one. Uh, let's see what else he does. It's actually a pretty interesting card. Overgrown battlement. So he taps his hierarch. Oh, for attack. Man, it's taking me a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, exalted. Okay, and then back to our turns. So we'll untap, draw. So we get a breeding pool. Um, we can just hmm, just play that right now. Um, let's see. Probably just gonna play another tribe elder, and then pass the turn back to him. So. We should have blocked the Hierarch, that was really dumb. But this turn we can block the Hierarch with one Tri Builder and then Sack for a red. We're also going to need to get a black for Bring to Light. And, okay, so he's going to attack again. So we will block there, Sack, and go for a. We're going to get the Swamp, I think. And then he will end his turn. At the end of his turn, we'll sacrifice this guy too. And grab, whoops, grab a mountain. Okay. And then back to our turn. Okay, so we get a search for tomorrow. So play our land. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We just need one more land. So we can hard cast our search for tomorrow. He might counter it. Let's see. Okay, it seems to be good. So we will grab uh, just an island. And that means that next turn we're going to be able to bring to light for the win. So we have our Amand up. We have Worldly Council at the end of the turn. If we need to do that, we probably will. Um, back to him. So he doesn't have too much pressure on the board right now. He can deal two damage with the Noble Hierarch. But besides that, we should be good. I don't think he can win this turn. So he's going to tap two. Oh, okay. Um, see what he's going to do. Unless he combos off with some crazy combo, which he probably won't. Okay, tap two. Okay. Um, no need to remand that. Swing for two. We're going to take two. And back to our turn. So that should be game unless he can counter it we have misty rainforest 
so that's good. Um, so green, blue, black, red. So that's our four colors. Bring to light. Let's see if that will resolve. Okay, it seems good. So we will grab our escape shift. And that should be game. A lot of people don't know the escape shift combo. Um, maybe he does, but we'll just uh, show him anyways. One, two, three, four, five, whoops. Six, seven, eight. So uh, let's ask him if he wants a game two. He said GG. Let's see if he wants a game two. We will just continue to grab our land. So we can deal 30, 36 damage. Uh, he says sure. Okay, so hopefully he will forfeit soon. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this last one? And that's game. Okay, so unlock our sideboard. So he was playing a lot of creatures. So we might want to put in our anger of the gods. Um, no need to put in dispels or any artifact hate. Crumble the dust is mostly a Tron thing. I uh, wasn't really playing any discard or any combos or infect, so I think anger is good. We can probably take out two worldly councils. And I think that's good. We will just try that. And he will most likely be on the play. Alright, so let's draw our hand. So we obviously have to mulligan. So hopefully our mulligan won't be too bad. Uh, we can probably keep that. And we go. We get to uh, scry one, which is always nice. Uh, steam vents. So we'll just keep that on the top. And it's his turn. Okay. So we can Shakura Tribe Elder. Chakra, however you say it. Anyways, our turn. Draughts. So we get our steam vents. Uh, plus steam vents tapped. And pass the turn. So he's probably going to hit us for one, maybe. I guess we'll see. Plays a hollowed fountain, taps three for Karyatid. Who gets to draw a card? Alright, uh, back to our turn. So we can Misty Rainforest crack. Whoops. Okay. Go get a forest. And tap this for our tribe elder. And then that's the end of our turn. So we have two more lands in our hand. We can Is It Charm to get some more lands if we need it. Um, we already have Scape Shift, which is good. We can counter stuff with Is It Charm. Not this turn, but next turn. So we have Lightning Bolt, which is good. So he's going to play a Windswept Heath. And that's cool. So there's really no pressure on the board for us. I mean, he can deal us three damage at most, which is not bad, and we could block with our tribe elder anyways. Um, we'll just see what happens. He's playing some sort of defender deck, I think, because all his creatures are defender, obviously. Okay, gets his hollowed fountain, takes two, it's always good for us, and passes the turn. So we draw into another steam vents. Probably, let's see. Um, I'm just looking to see if we want to keep up. Is it charm? Uh, I think it'll be all right for now. So that's all of our turn. So we have one, two, three lands plus uh, tribe elders, basically four lands. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Nothing too crazy is going on in his side of the field. Plays another Hierarch and is declaring attackers, so we will block. That's the good thing about Tribe Elder is that he can block and then sacrifice himself, which is super awesome. So I think we just grab a forest, actually, so we can play Scape Shift. Oh, that comes into play tapped, and he ends his turn, so back to us. Draw. We get a Cryptic. Um... Okay, I'm gonna still play Steam Vents in tapped because we can Is It Charm. 
which should be good. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, that should be the end of our turn. So basically, in two turns, we should be able to play Scape Shift and win. Uh, we'll just see what happens, though. So he can swing for four with this guy because of the exalted triggers. He's tapping one, two. Okay. I guess I'm being stupid though. Carrington has defender, obviously, so we can't even attack. <laughs> so we're we're sitting, we're doing pretty good. And he plays another Carrington. Okay, this one also has defender and hexproof. So none of his creatures can attack with the hierarch. So we're taking two here. And back to our turn. Oh, whoops. Okay, draw. We get a stomping grounds. Um, so we have Cryptic up, which is quite good. So we'll just play Stomping Grounds tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six. So next turn, we should win. <clears throat> and we can Cryptic Command anything that he plays, which is also good. Um, yeah, should be good. <clears throat> okay. Um... Okay, so this guy can now attack for, how much is this? Five? Or four? I think this is four. So we take four, we're still doing good. And if he passes the turn here, uh, we should win. We could have countered this, but we can always bounce it if we really need to. Oh, that's seven, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> All right, back to our turn. Untap and draw. Um, okay. So mountain, and then let's see. Keep all of our islands up just in case, and then scape shift. So that should be game. He says, "Hmm." So we can is it charm if he plays something and counter it for two. Uh, he's still thinking. So tap one, two. Okay. So whatever he, if he cryptics or whatever, we can just is it charm. Is it charm? Uh, pay two, I guess. I guess we'll tell him that. And he says GG. Anyways, that was pretty fast. Um, anyways, Scape Shift is fun. I sh might have some more Scape Shift for you guys next week. Probably not, though. I think we're going to be doing uh, some Legacy. We might have our first battle against... Uh, me and James are going to fight each other, hopefully. And we'll see what happens. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys on the flip side.